Nikon is a company that you have to imagine was started by a kid who ate worms in grade school and he wanted to start a business and you're like, oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. You'll be successful. What's your business? You're going to cut worms hair. Oh, worm haircutting. Nikon does worm haircuts and not even good ones. Today we talk about is Nikon dying financially and of Nigerian malaria? Because that could be happening. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So I think Nikon makes less money than a shoe shiner who uses sandpaper. They're not good at what they do. They're in fifth place of the six companies, six viable companies. I know there's others like Pentax. Thank you so much, Jordan, from DP Review for blessing us with those videos. They're really good. When it comes to mirrorless cameras, we got Sony leading the way. Canon at a distant second, desperately trying to avoid the cripple hammer attacks. We got Fuji in a mid-placed third. That's where they deserve to be. Fantastic colors, weird polish issues. They use the sandpaper. Mm, work on it. Autofocus stabe. Eh, lenses. In fourth place, we have Out of Business Olympus. Fourth place. They haven't released a product in seven years. The last thing was the EM3, which really was an EM2. Let's be real with ourselves. The glory is in its heart. There's no microphone up here. Nikon comes in fifth place after Dying Olympus, whose only saving grace really is that they found a nice box of crayons once, and they have amazing color science. And they cheated and copied autofocus technology. And then we have Nikon, dead. Dead to the world, which scares me, because Panasonic is below Nikon. Maybe get a phase detect pixel and shove it up your ass. I ain't even mad at you, panty boy. That G9 with the Lawa, fantastic. Manual focus, I don't mind it. With the dynamic range feature, iDynamic on high. That's a cinema cam right there. My go-to. I don't mind, just keep doing that shit. No phase detect, and I'll use the Lawa lenses. They're sending me some. I don't get to keep them. I love that. In my opinion, Nikon's in fifth place because they're boring as shit, and they had a meeting about how boring they were, and I heard it. I heard the meeting. It was a strange one. All right, fellas here at Nikon, where our motto is be average at best, and don't do anything to trigger people's emotions. Don't get them too excited or too angry. Just tread that line. We need to release a camera that speaks to our roots. Something that's just there. You know it's there, probably already exists in other forms. But we should do that. Do we have any ideas? Boss, I, I think I have something here. The Sony a7 III sold pretty well four years ago. What if we copied it and barely beat it in one area, matched it in others, and added a couple buttons? Greg Anthony, I would like you to go downstairs. I do believe there's a promotion letter I have just faxed to my secretary pick it up and grab the briefcase full of money. There's not much in there. We don't actually make a profit here. There's seven dollars. Yen. Seven yen. You can buy half a coffee. And I want the quarter of it. Don't add milk. You know that makes me poo. It makes me poo weird. Thanks, boss. It means a lot to me. I, We won't let you down. Not on this one. This Nikon Z6? Let's do a replica. Same exact camera. We here at Nikon, we're average at best, and we know it. 4K 60p, but we crop it in. Line skip it, dual pixel, thrown away. Slow motion? Not here. Don't worry, we got you covered. Flippy screen? I lost the hinge. Sorry, boss. Greg Anthony, you genius. You medieval genius. Okay, we make this thing. Let's tease a flagship that will not only match the Canon 1DX Mark I, spec for spec. 
we backlight the buttons for nighttime shooting with a high ISO performance of 6400. Huh? Are we maybe taking this too far? The Z9, that's our flagship. We gotta put something special in there, boss. My only idea so far is to put a flag next to the 9 so they'll know it's a flagship. Maybe a ship too? 4K 48P with a crop. Well, like a, a small 1.9 times crop. You worthless sack of shit. I knew from the day we hired you it was a mistake. I saw the glimmer of hope in your eyes that day. I thought maybe you were high on drugs, and I hoped that was the case. But I can see clearly you have aspirations. You're dead to me, Greg Anthony, you're dead. So it's not looking good for Nikon when it comes to video, which is the only important parameter in a photocentric system. They trail the industry. They bore us. They have raw to a ninja, but it's worse than anything I've ever seen. They have no log in normal modes. It's just like a flat. They over sharpen it because they lack detail in the sensor technology. I hate that fake sharpness so much. It's, you can see it in the leaves. It's like someone outlined it with marker, magic marker. Just go inhale it. Speaking of over sharpening, something that Huawei P40 Pro would never do in its telephoto lens because it has the most detail ever seen in a phone or camera. I'll leave. No, I won't. How's the audio sync? We're recording in 24p on the Sony a7S III, 30p here, using the audio from that to sync up with this. What could go wrong? Nothing. It's flawless as the audio. I did predict that Nikon by the end of this year would go out of business. I don't think they will because we're about to have a great awakening where Nisla, 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 Nikola Tesla, oh, Nisla. The Nisla towers are gonna be fantastic. Free energy magnetism, wireless magnet energy that not only powers your devices, but heals you at the same time. So all these camera companies who are struggling right now they got factories, earthquakes, oh no. Free energy for everybody. They're gonna regroup. Magic is on its way, my friend, guaranteed by Scientology. So they'll be fine. But right now, they're just here to bore us as a waiting, like they're a waiting room for a doctor who's about to give you a super healthy injection that definitely doesn't have side effects. What? Nikon is the room that you wait in to see a better camera. You have a camera, you take a couple pictures of the door to, as a memory of what it was like to have a terrible camera that bored you for the 10 to 15 minutes that you had to wait for it. And then you go get the better camera. I just cropped into APS-C mode when Nikon was asked what that was. They said, "Was is it candied corn? Is it corn based? Nikon's lost in the wilderness. They were provided a machete, but instead of chopping the leaves to make a path to a higher ground, they just, they chop off their own feet and feed it to themselves, and it's not sustainable, and it's bullshit. I'm not gonna stand for it. I don't own one Nikon thing. I'd, I'd like a key mission, test that thing out, little action cam. Those are my only goals here. We've reached maximum potential. Flatter Santa, he sent it, and now I ha I'm dead inside. I'm dead inside. I have nothing to look forward to in life. So we look for phones and action cams for no reason. We already got the P40 Pro. Maybe the P50 Pro will debunk it. That's, that's our only hope. But here we are. We push on. Nikon, you suck. A Z6 II? What's the point? Why get it? No flippy screen. Same as if Sony. Worst colors I've had. I need to build a YouTube studio. This is bullshit. All I ever think of is like, 
you can just see the door handles in the back and light switches and shit. People have like things back there that they design. Little lights and shelves, little animals. That's just my bathroom light. People know there's a toilet in there. That's all they think about when they watch my show, Toilets. Oh, God. One day, when I move, I'll build a studio. Until then, I might review other people's studios and make fun of them. Who has the best YouTube studio? I know who has the best. Someone you may have never heard of. Very unique. That guy, he does it. So, what did that have to do with anything? Is Nikon going out of business? I hope they don't. I hope they just make something fun, video-centric. How was the audio today, by the way? It's right there now. Oh, boy. Just the Rode Micro. Figure we switch things up a notch. I was going to do a online interview, and I was like, how am I going to do this? I don't have a webcam, but Fuji software as a webcam, and then I need my other mic, because you can't use an internal mic, external, in the Fuji. You have to have your own mic solution. That was dumb. Why didn't they just let me use a shotgun mic? We'd be good. I figured it out. So that will come. You won't care because it's for my other channel. Good times. Nikon? No? Subscribe for more videos. See you later.